everybody. I'm Paula Griffin. Hey, and I'm Davis Gamble. We're with Wallsworth Yearbooks, and we're inviting you to just take about 10 minutes, um, get in your recliner, sit down, pull up a chair with us, because we wanted to talk just a little bit today about promoting your publication when your campus is closed. Yeah, I think that it's so important right now, and I think so many advisors, we've had a lot of people reach out to us asking, hey, what do I need to be doing? Things are changing so much. Paula, Davis, what, where are we at and what can we do? And so I think that what we're about to share with you is a really important step to making sure that we're continuing working and really reaching out to our audience. That's right, because if you know Davis and me, you know that we like to talk and like to chat, and so this is the only way that we can do it with you guys right now, so we wanted to make sure that we made that happen, and the other thing to be sure of is nothing like this has ever happened before, so we're all in this together trying to figure out how to keep things as normal as possible and how to continue to promote your publications. And share some yearbook goodness, for sure. That's right. We're all about that. <laughs> so here are some of the whys on our end um, that we think you should continue to check us out and uh, get some of these great ideas. Number one, um, you know uh, the, the senior year has really been disrupted. Everyone's year has been disrupted. But especially for the seniors, and if I were a senior parent, I would want to do anything to try to salvage whatever memories there, there, there were that we preserved in the yearbook. Um, the yearbook is also something that provides a sense of normalcy when there's not much in the world. You know what I mean? Yep, and people are wanting to really create that human connection again. Right. This year was not defined by the pandemic. It wasn't right. the entire year. We Good still point. had great memories with homecoming. We still had homecoming dances. All those fun things that we had at the beginning of the year aren't defined by what's happened at the end of our year. That's right, but it has been something big in the year, and so the yearbook is something that can help capture how your school um, has dealt with this and coped with this. What does it mean to be a part of your school community? Uh, now more than ever, the yearbook can be a public relations tool so that who your school is and the mission of your school can be conveyed and this can be documented. Absolutely. I think people are really looking for connection too. That's the big thing here is that yes. people in communities, people in our communities around our school are really wanting to support us. And so one thing that we've had a lot, we've seen a lot from schools is people buying books for seniors, people really connecting. Um, I see on social media all the time, Paula, the hashtag 2020 strong or right. images of their high school memories, just to create that sense of normalcy for people. And so I think that being able to tap into that resource is really crucial. Right, and can we talk about the images that we're seeing this year? Um, and one of these is from Central Catholic High School. Um, another is from Seguin High School. So many of our schools are capturing just these powerful images of things that we thought that we would never see, and they're powerful. But that's what's so important about a yearbook, and that's powerful about what we do um, as plastic journalist. We document, um, we reflect, we find meaning in what's happening. And so when Davis and I are talking about promoting your publication, we in no way are talking about being opportunistic in midst of a tragedy. What we're doing throughout all of this is finding the meaning in that and reaching out to people to do the same. And I think that reaching out to people also means that we're just staying involved in their lives and knowing that they matter right. to us. Right. Communication is key. So let's talk about one of the first primary ways that we have to communicate with our people from campus, and that's email. Um, I think in these uncertain times, and Davis, you and I have talked about this, people want certainty. So if you just let them know in an email, Yes, yearbooks are still being created, so make sure to reserve yours. Even if you don't know what your distribution plans are right now, that's okay. Let them know that you're working on that, and we'll convey that information to you just as soon as we can. 
it's really important too that not only that connection is being met by just an email that we're collecting videos and we're asking our audience to interact with us more right. than just hey buy the book we'll get it to you later right we'll right we're still collecting and still start with the essentials if nothing okay. else but there's so much more that's possible and that's what we wanted to tell you about as well and so one of the best ways that we have to efficiently communicate with parents is PEP or the parent email program. These are professionally designed, professionally worded emails, um, and they're sent out by a team at Wallsworth. Um, and it's done on behalf of your school. Even the subject line itself says from Wallsworth, but on behalf of your school, so that when parents see it, they recognize it as communication from the school. It's really important too to know that PEP is highly secure. Wallsworth has all of the school requirements for safety. And so the list of your parent emails are never sold or shared to anyone. Um, if you have any questions or concerns about that or your admin does, reach out to us and we can share all that documentation and provide right. the information. With, with that certificate, we love that it has direct clickable links to your online store. Um, another thing that we really appreciate about it is that something that our team does is they scrub the list. So once a parent purchases, they'll remove them from future emails uh, to purchase the yearbook. And PEP has also changed in the past couple of weeks with everything yes. that's happening in our world. We have changed the frequency of the email so that has increased because parents are in front of their computers more and checking their email more often, it's um, coming out more frequently versus the every other week or every three weeks. It's right. to twice a week. So that's, it really is important change. with your, it really is helping connect with your parents and audience. Yes. So if PEP isn't the right solution for uh, your school community, another, hi Sammy, another thing, that's Davis's dog, he's super cute, maybe we can get a peek at the end. Oh, well. um, another thing that we have done is designed customized templates that can be used for any school or any school that's with any company. Um, again, they're professionally designed, um, professionally worded, they have attention getting graphics that really capture the mood of this year. Um, they're just really great. You can highlight um, the information and edit it to put in your school name and your specific uh, book and pricing information. What's really cool about the template emails too is we have different options. So like the one in the picture says hashtag senior strong. This right. is a great email that's prepared to send to our senior class. We have ones for all students. And so there's a lot of opportunity to create different content that we're sending out to different parents and different audiences. That's right. And finally, another solution is a totally customized email where you would share five to seven pictures that you have that you think really convey a sense of school culture, pride, um, you know, great visuals of your students. And then we would drop those into a header for an email that again, you can customize and send out. But this is really effective because students and their parents recognize them as being from um, their own campus. And I think it's important, Paula, if you're really wanting to be the most efficient, that you're using all three of these tools together. Yeah, um, good point, Davis. Because we need to make sure we're getting the message across that the yearbook's still working, we're still collecting content, and we really think it's important for you and your students to keep this memory for the rest of your life. It is such a unique time. It is a unique, a unique time. And something else that's very important right now is social media. So with the emails, that's kind of the business end of things, if you will, or the professional communication. But social media really affords us the opportunity to interact and engage with our audience and in a way unlike any other. What I think social media does best is we're not in school in the hallways passing each other and saying social media has become kind of like the virtual hallway so to yeah. speak or it, playing field or yeah. club and meeting organization you know all, all of that it's all it's we have we're, we're interacting and i don't know about you paula but i checked my screen time the other day and 
Burn it, it up. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's, it's almost tripled on how much time I'm spending on social media. And so oh. this can be our platform to where we are engaging with our parents, our community. He's not alone is the point. Yeah. He's not alone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's spending more time there. And I think that this is the place that it's important to see not only our students' faces, but for them to see us, to post videos. Yes. I've got to give a huge shout out to the MacArthur um, Yearbook Instagram. Their editors have created really great videos talking about what they're experiencing and used it as an area to communicate with their peoples. Yes, and we want to show you some examples because we do want you to know that it makes a difference for parents and students and heck the whole school community to see students' faces and hear their voices, to see advisors' faces and hear their voices. Anyone else from your faculty who you think would like to contribute this. If you can share sneak peeks to things in your book that haven't come out yet, and of course, tag seniors and their parents especially. Yeah, I think that it's so cool too to see that people are interacting and engaging. And that leads to this one post that you shared from um, a school about sending in your Easter pictures. Whether you're <laughs> a fall or a spring delivery book, it is still crucial to be collecting content because you never know if you're a spring book, next year we may want to do a recap timeline. And so this is the area in which parents can send in pictures and students can send in pictures and we can be collecting content for our next year's book because it's crazy to think we've got to start planning that still. Well, that's right. Yes, <laughs> even if you've already finaled in your spring delivery, you still want to capture what's happening in between this gap. And although we know Easter is past, just doing something like this that give, gives parents and students the opportunity to post a picture of what you're doing during quarantine. Um, what are you doing as a hobby? Uh, send a quote, post a picture. Um, that gets engagement. And what's really great about this is it lets others feel like they have an opportunity to contribute to the book and be a part of this year's story. And so it becomes more important to them. I think it's also cool too. Walsworth has some pre-made social media posts that are really engaging comments, um, inspiring, and you can replace them with your photos or use the photos so therefore there's some content that's already just ready to go out and post and share. Yes, you bet. And it utilizes some of the trending hashtags that are important right now. But again, there are compelling stock images that you can use. We just want to get you started posting something and then work toward customizing it for your own. You, you want to take a minute and talk about your book angels, Paula? I think that that's really important. Yeah, yeah, I sure can. So here's a post from a school about that. And what this is, we were talking about it at the, at the top of our discussion. Um, we know that things are tough in the world and there are financial difficulties that accompany this, but so many parents, faculty members, just people in the community really want to help, but don't know exactly what to do. So many schools have successfully launched what we call the Yearbook Angel Program. So you can buy a book and gift it to a senior, or um, you can uh, pick an amount like 10 or $20 to put toward the purchase of it. And it's a, gr a great way to really help out seniors and their families right now, or, or any student. And Walsworth has also taken the time to help create some content and information on how you can share that with your community at large. So if there's parents that wanna go in and buy a yearbook, they can go to the Walsworth online store and purchase them for students without even having to be a student at the school. And we have sure. information that we will definitely share out if anyone's more interested in That's right. About this we, we, didn't, we didn't say yet, but we have put all of these resources in a Dropbox um, folder that we'll be sharing or would love to share with you. So you can have the templates, you can have the emails, you can have the wording, um, any, any, anything that would be helpful to you at this time. Um, another thing that we love on social media, because, gosh, think about it, people, images plus music, so um, heart touching. And so we have some samples that other schools have done that you'll be able to see in our Dropbox. But Animoto is something that makes it so easy because they have pre-designed patterns. All you do is drop in the video or images that you would like to use 
type in any messaging and it makes just a really nice video. Yep, and we've mentioned this briefly, but I just want to bring the point back. Having that video connection with people is so important to get your students, admin, even yourself to make a video to send to people. I think that it really shows that human connection and a sense of compassion that people are really searching for. Yeah, I love that, Davis. A sense of compassion. We Let need that right now. Mark that one down to keep forever. Yeah, <laughs> sense of compassion. That's right. And here are some other ideas. Again, we'll have some of these in the Dropbox, but um, we've, we and Walsworth have created different materials that are ready to go. Um, images that are appealing and emotion evoking with some messaging that we think is important for right now. Um, but you can simply go in and customize it with your own school um, information and pricing and deadline. I think that it's really great to to use the social use social media in order to share content, get it out there, but also to interact with your audience. A great thing to do is do polls, Q and A's right now. This can help you create some small content, um, including like those little interactive maps and stuff on pages that we see. Bar graph, right. great thing. So use yeah, that. and we were talking about getting people on social media to interact, but it also may be content for your book. Uh, this staff invited students to take a self-portrait or a selfie during quarantine, um, and they gave some examples, so it was really fun to look at all of the comments and corresponding pictures. And again, these could totally be a yearbook spread, whether it's still in this year's book for fall delivery or when you start next year's book. And as your books do deliver, make sure that whether it's your admin, your janitorial staff at school, or even you that pick up those books, that you take pictures of that moment, that experience to really capture it and share with your people, letting them know that this book is here and now is the time to get it while you still can. Because we have a feeling that this is going to be the book that everybody wants for the rest of their life. Well, of course, because again, it's one of the few things that we have left to to connect, to remember. Um, we love uh, this social media post of the books being delivered and the principal is sharing one. Um, so again, maybe it's uh, somebody from campus, maybe it's you, the advisor, but maybe whenever students do get their books, encourage them to take a selfie with their yearbook or with one of their favorite spreads or maybe with a photo of themselves and put that on your social media post as well. And if you're wanting some more ideas for content for social media, make sure you follow us on Facebook and Instagram. We share what other schools throughout Texas are doing. And I think that it is so important to have that as a resource area for you and your students to get some new ideas. Absolutely. We need inspiration daily, especially right now, more than once, right? <laughs> oh, <sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> Here's some other things that other schools um, have done. And again, we're trying to look for the images and the communication that can appeal to the emotions and start a conversation. We know a lot of schools, and this is from Yorktown, are doing the front porch portraits. Uh, so again, inviting seniors or students to go out onto their front porch um, with some of their senior memorabilia. I've seen it done for proms because uh, many proms were canceled or they've been postponed. So dressing up for prom and going out on your front porch. So again, part of promoting your book now is continuing to capture the things that can still bring us together um, because like the trending hashtag or expression, um, we're alone, but all together. What can we do to, to bridge that? Yeah, I, I love it. I think that this is a really great way for your yearbook staff to stay active as well and stay sharp on their photo skills too. But creating yeah. this really big opportunity. And I love this time-lapsed one. If that doesn't <laughs> best represent quarantine life, I totally relate to that. So again, we're always trying to find the human interest relatable things, um, yeah, to help us out. Um, some other things that you can do is recognize and cover students whose seasons were cut short or canceled, like softball, track, so many sports perhaps didn't didn't happen, um, but 
Maybe they've already taken some of their individual photos. Maybe they can submit a selfie. It really doesn't um, matter um, as long as we're covering the faces. Um, that's, that's the best that we can do because we can't change what's happened in life right now, but how can we still recognize those students who were involved? Definitely. And we've already talked a little bit about in involving your community to help you. I think that it's really good if you haven't done yet, talk with your admin and set up a GoFundMe for this year's book to help raise funds so that way every book student can get a book. Um, yeah. We've had a lot of schools that's increased purchases and copy count and stuff like that. Reach out to your people if you haven't because you may see a change in how things were before and as we've talked about the new abnormal. Yes, so yeah, the new abnormal. Changing. That's right, that's right. And then one of the last things that we wanted to touch on um, that's key for right now um, would be the great webinars that are being offered um, from our company. Um, journalism experts like Mike Taylor and Jim Jordan are heading those up, but they're also reaching out and pulling in scholastic journalism websites from across the nation. Mm -hmm. And they've also been interviewing some students and advisors True. and it's a really great live open platform for you to interact, get your questions answered and get opinions from a great wealth of people to really help you get this book done and get it delivered, distributed and see how other people are interacting. Absolutely. And so the one that's coming up this week is about deepening your level of creativity. Um, so kind of going above and beyond. I know all of us as educators are looking for different ways to reach our students and engage them and different resources. So this is definitely one. We'll have a link for how to register um, because you do need to register. Even if you can't watch it when it's live, um, you'll be sent a recording, which is great to have perhaps for later on if you're not yet working on next year's theme. Um, Davis and I would really encourage you to listen to the one that went down a couple of weeks ago about distribution because all of us are looking for different input and ideas on how to distribute at our school and what's best. And we just have to say a huge shout out and thank you to Mike Taylor and Jim Jordan for hosting these weekly or a couple of times a week. There are so much great content in there. And like Paul said, if you've missed one, let us know. You can still go back and we can send you the recorded videos and you can register for the ones coming up to be sent that recorded link. So don't feel like you've missed out on anything. Um, and we'll be sharing some of those resources in that Dropbox that we're sending everybody. That's right, because these guys are the ambassadors for promoting your publication, which is what we're all about. And I think more than anything throughout all of this, what Davis and I want to emphasize is when we all work together and share ideas, we can come up with some really good solutions to find hope and to connect um, to each other despite this sucky situation. Yeah. And your publications, uh, your yearbook, uh, it's such a vital time. Um, and al although we may be all alone together in this, the images, and the moments that you're collecting, the work that you're putting in, um, capturing this time really is important in life. So let's continue to work together to promote them. And thank you to all the advisors and students who have been working so hard. We know that this has been a challenge that's right. unlike anything else. And we are so proud of seeing everybody finaling their books and getting these pages done. So proud of you guys. Please keep up the great work. And if there's anything that we can provide or do for you, you know we're just a phone call away. That's right. And if you'd like to chat with us more about promoting your publication, we would love to have the conversation. Or if you have some ideas that we maybe miss out on. Absolutely. And we'll definitely send that out to the group. So thank you. Paula, anything else? That's it. Thank awesome. you, Davis. Thank you so much. Bye, everyone.